the Who Let the Gods Out series and Vice Spy and the Exploding Life of Scarlet Five. I'm a show off. What can I say? Um, I would like to talk to you today about writing stories because that's what I do. Uh, it's always been my firm belief that any idiot can write a story. How do I know this? Because I am an idiot and people pay me to write stories. So believe me, if I can do it, you can do it too. Now, there are some funny beliefs about story writing that somehow at birth, the magical story fairy comes down and goes to some people, I choose you. Dink, you, not so much. No, 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 no. Writing stories is a skill like anything else. Now, some people are naturally very good at it, uh, but, most people aren't. Uh, I'm not, actually, if I'm honest. It takes work. Now, if you decide you want to become a footballer, what are you going to do? Practice. If you decide you want to become a professional oboe player, what are you going to do? Practice. If you decide you're going to become the world's greatest person at stacking sugar cubes, what are you going to do? Practice. Well, story writing is very much the same. And I have taught hundreds of thousands of people how to write stories now. And I'm very proud to say all of them have been able to do it. And the reason for that is because I am brilliant. So I'm brilliant. Never, ever underestimate how good I am. There's another reason too. Uh, because I have devised a recipe for writing stories. Now, think about it. If you wanted to cook a dinner, if you just had a fridge full of ingredients and you had a go, I mean, you might make something. I'm not sure anyone would want to eat it. But if you have a recipe, you know what you're doing. And story writing is just the same. Once you have a recipe, then you can use the ingredients which you have in your imagination and you can make something really great with them. And I call this recipe my story stew. Now, story stew is really simple. It has to be. I'm stupid. So I need something I can remember very easily. Uh, it has just five ingredients. Count them. Five, just five, in, five, in, five, no, five ingredients. The first of these I would say is the most important one because the first ingredient you need in a story stew, character. You need a great character. I don't believe stories start with worlds and plots and all of that rubbish. Stories start with character. That's what we're most interested in. Who is this story about? Are they young or old? Are they a boy or a girl? Are they animal, vegetable or mineral? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they big? Are they small? Are they brave? Are they scared? There are as many characters as there are ideas in this whole wide world, which is quite a lot, like 412. Uh, so I want you to think very carefully about your character. Once you have your brilliant character, then that is who we're going to follow on the story. That's who we're really going to care about. Now, a lot of people, small people particularly, like to write loads of characters for their story. I think books really need one main character. You can have lots of people around them, but probably best if you just choose one, because that's who we're really going to root for and going to follow through their adventure. So the first ingredient in a story stew, cooker, cooker, character. The second ingredient I think is one of the most important things in story writing. You need to decide what this character wants. Now, all books that were ever written are about a character who wants something. Every single one. Cinderella wants to go to the ball. Harry Potter wants to defeat Voldemort. Hercules wants to do the 12 labors. Elsa from Frozen wants a slap in the head because she's really irritating. But she also wants to you be free to use her ice powers and Anna, her sister, wants to find her. That is what every story is about, a character who wants something. Now, once you've decided what your character wants, you are away. Do they want something good? Do they want something bad? Do they want something big? Do they want to save the world? Or do they want something little that we all understand? Like they really want a wee wee. Uh, do they want to find something or someone? Do they want to go somewhere? Do they want to make amends for something? Do they want to set right or wrong? What is it your character wants? Because those two things, a character and what they want, that is the backbone of your story because your story is going to be about your character trying to get what they want. So the first ingredient in story stew, a character. The second ingredient, what does that character want? Oh dear. 
Now we're on to ingredient three. And ingredient three is where it all starts to go a bit wrong because our character really wants something, but uh-oh, they are going to face a great big problem. You don't want your character to get what they want easily. You're going to put all sorts of problems in their way because that's the only way they're going to be worthy of what it is they want. And that's the only way your story is going to be exciting and interesting as if things go wrong. Now, this problem could be another character. If your character is good, you could have a baddie. If your character is bad, you could have a goodie that is always getting in their way. Think of all the stories that I mentioned. Cinderella, uh, we've got a wicked stepmother. Harry Potter, we've got Voldemort. In Hercules, uh, we've got some of the gods are very against Hercules. He has to face monsters and challenges. Uh, in Frozen, um, Anna has all sorts of challenges in trying to find Elsa and Elsa needs to kind of get out of her great big grumpy funk before she turns the whole wide world to ice. So problems can come from anywhere. They can come from externally, so they could be a circumstance. Sometimes they can come internally, so a problem within ourselves, a character flaw that our character needs to address and fix. But whatever it is they want, something, lots of things probably, are going to get in their way. So we need a character, what they want, a problem. Ingredient four, however, our character really wants this thing, right? So whatever this problem is, they're going to try and solve it. And that is ingredient four, a solution. How is our character going to try and overcome this problem? Can they do it on their own with magic or a weapon or some quality within themselves? Do they need help? Do they need friends? Harry Potter's got his friends. Luke Skywalker's got his friends. Horrid Henry's got his friends. Maybe they need some people around them who are really going to help. Uh, they're going to take on this problem. They're going to struggle to overcome it, but they need to defeat it because they still really want the thing that their story is all about. So our character wants something. There's a problem. They try and solve it. And now we come to the final ingredient in Story Stew which a lot of people really struggle with, it's the ending. How do we end a story? Even the best story writers really struggle with this. They keep writing, 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 but no idea how it ends. Let me help you. The ending, the key to it, lies in the second ingredient. If you remember, we have a character who wants something. Now this, 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 this is the key to the end of your story because your character is either going to get what they want or they don't get what they want. That is the end to every story. Now, maybe they should get what they want. Maybe they shouldn't. Maybe they'll get something they need instead. But the end of your story is, does your character get what they want? Five ingredients for every story ever written. A character, what they want, a problem, a solution, and an ending. And my story, Stu, has a little rhyme that I made up all by myself because I'm really clever. And it goes a little something like this. Somebody tries to get what they want. Oh no, what's in the way? Rescued now, what happens next? You'll have to see. Hooray. Now I've sent this to your teacher or, or keeper or yeti or whoever's in the room with you right now. Uh, so they will have this for you to check. But as you'll see, it spells story down the outside to remind you of these five ingredients. Now you will also be given one of these, a Merv Evans story planner. And this I use now when I write my books to make sure I've got that backbone of my story straight. So you've got my hero is who or what is your character? Tell us as much as you can think about them. They want, what is it they want? The good thing, the bad thing, the big thing, the small thing. What's this story going to be about? But uh-oh, there's a problem. What or who is the problem? Who or what is going to get in your character's way? So to help them, they have magic or weapons or friends. And finally, they do or don't get what they want. And maybe there's a little twist in the tale, another piece of information you want to give us. But before you set out on your story journey, give yourself a map. If you got in a car and tried to find somewhere without the sat nav on, you'd really struggle. And stories are the same. If you want to get to your destination, give yourself a map. Have a great time writing your stories and do feel free to share them with me. Well done, you.